Hello and welcome back to our white belt program. I'm Herb Robbins and I will be your facilitator for this module on lean. As a master black belt and project leader, I will tell you that having a team with members who have been exposed to lean concepts and tools provides for a competitive edge. The three modules of the white belt program stand alone very well and when combined provide a powerful trio. After you've completed your white belt training, I encourage you to join a team or work with your supervisor or manager to help implement lean in your workplace. You may also visit our website, lean2020.com, to search for additional information and further training opportunities. After all, this is not just about your employer. This is about valuable, marketable skills that you will soon possess. I trust that you are comfortable. Now prepare to get lean. Most of us have heard the one about Henry Ford. He said you could have any color car as long as that color is black. What we hadn't heard was why only one color. Changing the system to spray different colors would be costly and time consuming. By limiting the colors to one, his assembly line could produce more cars. Also, limiting the colors to one, his paint inventory was easier to control and therefore less costly to maintain. Lean tools such as Quick Changeover and Kanban would have helped him with these issues. Why select black though? Two very good reasons. Black was the least expensive to purchase and was able to dry the fastest. Wow. Save more money and produce more cars. By the way, Henry Ford at one point raised the wages of his workers to $5 a day, which was about double the norm for factory workers in that era. So lean concepts have certainly been around for some time. So what is lean and why is this so important? Every system or process has inefficiencies or waste. You will soon learn that there are eight different types of waste in every environment. Yes, that's right, there's eight of them. Lean is about identifying these inefficiencies and working to reduce and eliminate them. One problem that we've seen is that processes are not standardized. Many people, shifts, or departments do tasks their own way. Additionally, systems are not linked. Handoffs are sloppy and error prone. Data is often stored in separate systems and not shared. The end result is duplicated efforts and a mismatch of information. The objective of Lean is to create a simplified efficient process using common language and procedures while sharing information. Here are the lean tools which are discussed in greater detail during higher level belt training. The white belt program focuses on the eight ways that exist in all environments. There's a time and place for each of these to be used. A higher level belt will have a better appreciation for the when, where, why, and how to use them. They will also be pleased to know that you're aware of some of these tools. The critical part of learning is in the doing. To better grasp these concepts and tools, white belts are encouraged to become team members and or work with their supervisor or manager. There's a Chinese proverb, tell me and I'll forget. Hearing and listening are not one of our stronger senses. Show me and I'll remember. Seeing is one of our strongest senses. Involve me, I'll understand. This could include all of the senses possible. Hearing, seeing, feeling, touching, smelling, tasting, etc. Critical to the learning process is in the doing, so I will encourage you to work with a higher level belt to truly understand these tools. Lean is about creating opportunities. By moving people from non-value added activities to value added activities, we can create a more competitive environment and grow our business, creating other opportunities for even more employees. Lean is not about workforce reductions and eliminating people. Lean use for these purposes can send a bad message to employees who will avoid these concepts like the plague. Here at Robbins International, we use the acronym DOT WIMP U to give business environments an easy way to recall all eight inefficiencies. You'll learn about each of these inefficiencies and the tools used to reduce and eliminate them as you continue on and earn your yellow belt. The eight inefficiencies are defects, overproduction, transportation, waiting, inventory, motion, processes that are non-value added, and unused employee creativity. Congratulations on completing this section of your white belt. Let's briefly review what you've seen. Think of the building blocks of lean. There are a number of tools that will make your workplace much more efficient. You've also seen the acronym DOT WIMP U. The module on eight inefficiencies will go into further detail about these wastes. When you think about lean, you should be thinking about creating opportunities within an efficient work environment. Lean's not about employee reductions, it's about moving people from non-value added activities to value added activities. 
I encourage you to share our website with others and consider attending one of our higher level belt programs to further your understanding of these tools as well as learning other valuable ones. Good luck with completing your white belt.